In the chaotic world we live in today, where negativity seems to thrive and toxic people are everywhere, finding inner strength is more crucial than ever. The ancient Stoics, a school of philosophy, believed that true power doesn't come from conquering external forces, but from mastering our own emotions. Have you ever felt exhausted and defeated after dealing with a toxic person? These individuals have a way of draining our mental well-being, leaving us feeling helpless and irritated. But what if there were practical strategies inspired by the Stoics to help us navigate these challenging situations with compassion, poise, and resilience? Join me on a transformative journey where we explore 10 Stoic-inspired ideas designed to empower you in handling toxic people gracefully. Through this video, you'll discover ways to protect your emotional well-being and gain insights on navigating difficult dynamics. Subscribe to the channel for more tips on building mental resilience and emotional intelligence. By the end of this video, you'll have a toolbox filled with stoic wisdom to effectively manage toxic individuals in your life. So, take a deep breath. Embrace the power within you, and let's embark on this empowering journey together. 1. Turn into a bore for the feelings deficient warrior. In the realm of emotional dynamics, there exists a complex interplay between individuals that can either fuel or diffuse intense situations. Imagine a world where emotions run wild and conflict seems inevitable a territory where a formidable emotional warrior holds sway, seeking to stir chaos and discord at every turn. Within this challenging landscape, we encounter a breed of individuals whose very existence thrives on sowing seeds of negativity, eager to provoke a reaction that feeds their insatiable hunger for emotional turmoil. They prowl the emotional terrain strategically wielding barbs and insults in a relentless quest for a crack in your emotional armor. A glimmer of response that will stoke the fires of their discontent. In the face of such emotional turbulence, the concept of emotional resilience emerges as a beacon of strength and stability. Drawing inspiration from the ancient Stoic ideals of emotional regulation and detachment, a modern-day therapist named Paul Fredman devised a powerful technique known as the Grey Rock Method, a subtle yet potent strategy designed to quell the tempest of negativity. The essence of the Grey Rock Method lies in the art of emotional containment, not a total shutdown of feelings, but a deliberate cultivation of an emotional shield akin to a smooth, unyielding rock. This rock stands firm against the onslaught of toxicity, offering no foothold for negativity to take root and flourish. Delving deeper into this approach, we find wisdom in the teachings of Seneca, a revered Roman Stoic philosopher. Seneca's words resonate with timeless truths, reminding us that true happiness stems from embracing the present moment without an undue fixation on future uncertainties. This ethos underscores the importance of starving the toxic elements of attention they crave, be it positive or negative. Through the Grey Rock Method, one navigates the turbulent waters of conflict with a steadfast demeanor rendering oneself uninteresting to those seeking to incite emotional turmoil. Like a dull, unremarkable rock that evokes no reaction, responses steeped in neutrality become a shield of protection in the storm of negativity. Central to the Grey Rock Method is the strategic deployment of neutral and truthful statements in response to provocative remarks. By purposefully choosing words that neither fan the flames of conflict nor yield to their provocations, 
one fortifies their emotional fortress with resilience and unwavering calm. In the dance of emotions and conflicts, the Grey Rock Method emerges as a potent tool, an antidote to the manipulative tactics of emotional barbarians, offering a pathway to emotional strength, serenity, and self-preservation amidst the chaos of human interactions. In navigating relationships with toxic individuals, it's crucial to stay grounded and composed. Instead of getting entangled in emotional disputes or validations, a friend's toxic behavior towards your work can be deflected by responding with a simple, that's interesting. Toxic people often seek to control emotions using tactics like sarcasm, guilt trips, or outright hostility. Seneca's teachings highlight the significance of not being swayed by either hopes or fears. To maintain your emotional well-being, it's essential to disengage from their negativity. The Grey Rock Method can be a helpful tool in such situations, but it's not a quick fix. Some toxic personalities might intensify their behavior initially, testing your emotional resilience. By remaining cool and staying consistent, one can avoid taking responsibility for their negativity. By adopting a stoic-inspired approach, you can transform yourself from a passive target of toxicity into an unaffected observer. Prioritizing your inner calm and emotional stability will shield you from emotional turbulence and safeguard your peace of mind. Two. Build barriers to safeguard your stronghold. In a world where our emotions are like the walls of a grand citadel, we must fortify them against harmful influences. Imagine yourself as a ruler, like Marcus Aurelius, defining the boundaries of your inner empire with clarity and strength. Within the realm of Stoic philosophy, we find the wisdom to protect our emotional well-being. It starts by recognizing and setting boundaries that delineate what we will and will not accept in our lives. Identify the sources of negativity that drain your spirit, whether it is persistent negativity, manipulative actions, or unwanted advice. Having defined your boundaries, the next step is to communicate them effectively. Take inspiration from Marcus Aurelius and express your boundaries assertively, yet with compassion. Speak from your own experience using I statements to show how certain actions affect you personally. Clear, specific communication is key to avoiding misunderstandings and offering alternatives when necessary. Remember, assertiveness is not hostility. Stand strong in upholding your boundaries while treating others with respect and kindness. Just as a wise ruler defends his kingdom, protect your emotional citadel with unwavering determination and transparent communication. Raise your emotional drawbridge against toxicity and let your well-being shine within the fortress of your heart. In a world where tranquility battles external chaos, Imagine being the vigilant guardian of your emotional fortress, steadfast and unwavering. Your stronghold, a symbol of inner peace and well-being, demands constant vigilance to shield against the turbulent storms of life. Just as a stalwart ruler defends their kingdom against threats, you too must defend your boundaries to safeguard your sanctuary. Picture these walls as mighty barriers, unyielding and resolute, a testament to your strength and resilience. An unstable defense, however, invites intruders who seek to breach your peace. When faced with those who disrespect your limits, gently yet firmly remind them of your boundaries. Embrace their breach with a calm resolve, akin to a wise guardian facing down adversaries with grace and poise. At times, 
Safeguarding your fortress may require reducing contact with toxic influences or even stepping away completely, not as a punitive measure but as an act of self-preservation. Just as a ruler fortifies their castle walls to ensure stability and protection, so must you fortify your emotional boundaries for sustained peace and harmony, both in the present and the long journey ahead. Envy, a seed of discord, often fuels destructive behavior, a lesson the Stoics knew well. Upholding well-defined boundaries doesn't stem from selfishness, but from the desire to maintain personal equilibrium. Through these boundaries, you create a shield, warding off threats to your emotional sanctuary and upholding the citadel of your inner peace. Consider your boundaries as essential milestones along your path, safeguarding the serenity of your inner realm, a haven of tranquility and balance. Defending this sanctum isn't about exclusion, but about carving out space for personal growth and nurturing peace within. A fortified fortress isn't just a symbol of might, but a testimony to the wisdom and strength of its guardian. As you tread the road to a tranquil existence, remember, clear boundaries are your stalwart companions, akin to the guardian of old who stood firm against adversity. Let these boundaries guide you, like steadfast walls around your personal citadel, ensuring your emotional well-being remains guarded and resilient. Stand tall, embrace these safeguards, and let your boundaries illuminate the way. And so within this fortified realm, you discover the peace and inner fortitude to embark on a fulfilling journey towards a life of profound serenity and purpose. 3. Guardians of Inner Peace Navigating the Realm of Toxicity In a world where our souls are fortresses of serenity and our minds are havens of emotional well-being, we must be vigilant guardians of our inner worlds. Just as a deity watches over us from above, we too must hone our awareness to detect and deter the toxic threats that seek to infiltrate our sanctuaries. Drawing inspiration from the teachings of Epictetus, a sage Stoic philosopher, we are reminded that it is not the cruel acts of others that disturb our peace, but our interpretations of those acts. This fundamental wisdom holds true as we confront the malevolent forces that exude toxicity. It is our own reactions and perceptions that wield the power to either shield us from harm or leave us vulnerable to the influence of negativity and manipulation. But how do we cultivate the resilience of a stoic mindset in the face of toxicity? The first step is to recognize the warning signs. Toxic individuals often mask their harmful intentions with constant criticism eroding our self-confidence and sowing seeds of doubt. Through flattery, guilt-tripping, or intimidation, they attempt to exert control over our thoughts and actions, leaving us mired in insecurity. Thriving on pessimism, these toxic beings immerse themselves in a sea of negativity, seeking to drag others into their vortex of despair. Rather than focusing on solutions, they magnify problems, spreading a cloud of darkness wherever they go. To navigate this treacherous terrain, we must equip ourselves not with physical weapons, but with keen discernment and unwavering self-awareness. As we embark on the journey of identifying and understanding toxic threats, let us fortify our inner citadels with the armor of wisdom and clarity. Our havens of tranquility deserve our utmost protection and by mastering the art of recognizing toxicity, we build impenetrable barriers against the corrosive forces of malevolence. 4. The Broken Record Technique 
In a world where manipulation seems endless, picture a toxic individual using deceptive arguments and emotional pleas to chip away at your boundaries. It can be exhausting and unpleasant to face such a relentless assault. But fear not. In the realm of unshakable reason and resilience lies the inspiration behind the broken record technique. Imagine a strategy designed to counteract deceitful tactics, a technique that involves calmly restating a clear declaration of your position, much like a skipping broken record, looping back to the same resolute message. This seemingly simple method holds profound power in warding off attempts to derail you and in staying steadfast to your needs. Drawing from the foundations of Stoic philosophy, the broken record technique brings forth a shield against manipulation, allowing you to maintain focus and stand firm in the face of adversity. The Stoic philosopher Epicurus stands as a cornerstone of this philosophy, reminding us of the enduring strength found in unwavering resolve. But in our journey of discovery into the realms of resilience and empowerment, let us delve deeper into the profound teachings that emphasize the value of freedom as the ultimate essence of human existence. Imagine a world where the concept of freedom transcends mere physical boundaries. It embodies the profound ability to carve out one's own path and to assert oneself without justification. This fundamental notion finds powerful expression in the principle known as the broken record technique. The essence of freedom lies in our capacity to stand firm, resolute in our beliefs, and unwavering in our convictions. The broken record technique serves as a beacon of strength in the face of manipulation, enabling us to maintain our course steadfastly. When confronted with tactics of coercion and deceit, our unwavering repetition of our perspective acts as a shield against emotional onslaughts. Manipulators often resort to deploying emotional ploys such as flattery, guilt-tripping, or anger to coerce compliance with their desires. Yet armed with the broken record technique, we can deflect these assaults on our emotions and anchor our arguments in rationality. Through consistent reaffirmation of our standpoint, we disrupt the flow of manipulation, exposing the fragility of their tactics. Picture a resilient rock standing firm against the crashing waves, a symbol of unwavering strength and resilience. Just like the unyielding rock, the broken record technique stands its ground without engaging in direct confrontation. By advocating for our beliefs with calm assurance, we uphold the principles of Stoicism that champion reason and logic as our guides through life's challenges. As we embrace this approach, we equip ourselves with the tools to repel exploitation and safeguard our inner tranquility with indomitable resolve. Let us remember that in the realm of Stoicism, unwavering determination and adherence to reason are our allies in navigating the tumultuous waters of existence. Through the mastery of the broken record technique, we empower ourselves to maintain our autonomy, protect our mental fortitude and emerge victorious in the face of adversity. 5. Refuse the temptation to engage. In a world where emotions run deep and drama lurks around every corner, Picture a clever angler skillfully casting a line baited with negativity. The angler's goal? To draw you into a turbulent whirlpool of emotional chaos, where provocations, insults and guilt trips dance like shadows, waiting to ensnare you. This angler represents the toxic people who thrive on such negative energy seeking to provoke reactions that fuel their drama and feed their darkness. 
but fear not, for there is a shield against this emotional onslaught, a shield forged by the ancient wisdom of Stoic philosophy. Within this philosophy lies a powerful defense mechanism, indifference. Indifference, contrary to apathy, embodies emotional detachment rather than a lack of concern. The Stoics, including luminaries like Epictetus, warned against confusing apathy with indifference. Apathy signifies a void of caring and motivation, whereas indifference signifies a conscious disconnect from the distortions of emotion that cloud our rational judgment. How then, does stoic indifference empower you to evade the bait of drama? The journey begins with awareness. To thwart the toxic angler's ploy, one must first recognize the telltale signs of their bait. Is it a cutting remark disguised as concern? An insult veiled as a joke? A guilt trip cloaked in the guise of a favor once these tactics are laid bare, their potency weakens, losing their grip on your emotions. In the intricate dance of human interaction, the art of indifference emerges as a beacon of strength and resilience. By mastering this art, you navigate the treacherous waters of toxic relationships with grace and wisdom, untethered from the turmoil that once ensnared you. Embrace the stoic indifference and watch as the drama bait loses its allure, powerless against your newfound clarity and inner peace. In a world teeming with bait, designed to provoke wrath, annoyance or defensiveness, the allure of remaining detached beckons. Stoic indifference emerges as a beacon of choice, a shield against the emotional tides that seek to engulf us. Imagine gazing at the bait dangling before you, its barbs dulled by your serene composure. Unmoved by its potential to ensnare you, you stand resolute, unyielding to the storm of emotions it aims to incite. As the canvas of life unfolds, the practice of Stoicism unveils its wisdom. It is a path that celebrates the expression of positive emotions while advocating for a prudent distance from those uncontrollable negatives that seek to entangle us. Transforming oneself from a mere actor in the theater of drama into a tranquil spectator becomes a ritual of empowerment. Through the lens of stoic indifference, one invites a profound stillness into their being signaling to the world that they refuse to partake in the emotional tumult others wish to impose. The essence of stoic tranquility lies in transcending the chaos, in navigating the tempests of others with a grace born of inner peace. In this sanctuary of self-possession, amidst the swirling winds of drama, one finds a bastion immune to the turbulent currents seeking to destabilize. With each unspoken word, each unheeded provocation, the power dynamics shift, leaving the forces of negativity disarmed and dissipating into the void. It is a journey of metamorphosis, not into cold detachment, but into a realm of compassionate detachment, one that acknowledges the humanity in others while safeguarding the sanctity of one's own emotional well-being. Like a master of the self, the practitioner of stoic indifference charts a course through the tumult, embracing their own serenity as a beacon of light against the shadows of discord. As the echoes of their scathing words fade into silence, their power wanes, their potency diluted by the absence of fuel to feed the flames of conflict. By choosing the path of stoic indifference, one cultivates resilience in the face of negativity, fostering a spirit untarnished by the storms that rage around them. It is not a callous indifference that emerges, 
but a profound empathy for oneself and others, rooted in the understanding that true strength lies in mastering one's own reactions. In the tapestry of existence, where emotions run high and conflict looms large, stoic indifference emerges as a beacon of light, guiding the way to inner peace. It is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, a declaration of sovereignty over one's emotional landscape. As the world churns with its dramas and discord, the practice of Stoicism stands as a testament to the enduring power of inner tranquility in a turbulent world. 6. The Silent Power Mastering the Art of Non-Reaction In a world filled with verbal gladiators who wield words like weapons, there exists a group of toxic individuals who thrive on inciting anger and humiliation through their poisonous language. Their arena is the battleground of heated arguments where insults and barbs reign supreme, but hidden within the chaos lies a stoic strategy that is both powerful and often overlooked, the art of the non-reaction. Picture this. Amidst a storm of verbal attacks, there is a profound silence. This silence is not born out of weakness, but of calculated choice. It disrupts the toxic dance orchestrated by those seeking to provoke emotional responses. It disarms them in a way that astonishes, for it is a weapon more potent than any retort or defense. Silence, however, is not easily embraced by all. The urge to react, to defend, to win arguments is ingrained in our nature. Stoicism, ancient wisdom that it is, teaches the value of mastering our reactions. It implores us to find stillness in the chaos, to exhibit true control in the face of adversity. The writings of Marcus Aurelius, the revered Roman Stoic Emperor, shed light on the strength of the non-reaction. Toxic individuals thrive on predictability, their negativity expecting a response. By denying them this response, by withholding the emotional fuel they seek, we disrupt their toxic pattern. In that brief moment of silence, we seize control and break free from the cycle of toxicity. To master the art of non-reaction is to embrace the power of silence, to wield it not as a tool of weakness, but as a shield of strength. It is a skill that transcends words, for in the absence of reaction lies a profound statement, a statement of self-control, resilience, and unwavering composure. So the next time you find yourself amidst the verbal battleground, remember the silent power that lies within you. Choose non-reaction over retaliation, stillness over chaos, and watch as your silence speaks volumes where words fall short. Imagine a scenario on the tennis court where a player skillfully swings their racket, but the court is eerily empty. Their powerful serve hits the ground with a thud, echoing in the silence. This absence of sound carries a profound message. It speaks volumes without uttering a single word. It signifies a deep sense of self-control and a refusal to engage in negativity. This moment of quietness conveys a message of inner strength and a detachment from emotional manipulation. In the wise words of Marcus Aurelius, he once advised us not to waste time debating the qualities of a good person, but to embody those qualities ourselves to be a beacon of stoic virtue means to exhibit traits like calmness, reasonableness, and an unwavering demeanor in the face of external provocations. As you prepare yourself for potential conflicts, embracing non-reaction is key. Toxic individuals may attempt to provoke responses by escalating their attacks, hoping to unsettle you. However, maintaining your composure and responding with silence can be a powerful defense. Remember, 
Silence is not a sign of weakness. It is a potent tool wielded by the truly strong. Non-reaction may not be a universal solution, but it serves as a crucial weapon in your stoic arsenal. It holds the potential to disarm aggressors, safeguard your inner harmony, and demonstrate mastery over your emotions when applied strategically. By choosing silence, you're sending a resounding statement, a declaration that you refuse to engage in their harmful games. 7. Ensure minimal exposure. In the intimate sanctum of your mind's fortress, your mental well-being thrives under the watchful eye of strict borders, but amidst the unwavering walls lies a reminder. Even the staunchest defenses can sometimes falter against external threats. Like relentless intruders, tainted souls persist in their attempts to breach your ramparts. As we tread through this labyrinth of safeguarding, the timeless wisdom of regulating the controllable dances into view. Though you can't dictate the actions of the venomous, you hold dominion over your associations. The initial shield in this symphony is minimizing interactions with toxic souls, architecting a buffer of tranquility. Symbolically, governing your proximity to them orchestrates a concerto of self-preservation. If shunning them completely proves implausible, reshaping engagements or diplomatically disengaging surfaces as audacious maneuvers in your defense. This stance isn't rooted in discourtesy. Rather, it's a tribute to self-care, reminiscent of a stoic general preserving his forces for pivotal battles. In life's grand tapestry, Toxic presences might not only lurk in professional environs, but nest within familial nests or amongst cherished kin. In such constellations of complexity, navigating treacherous waters demands finesse in steering clear of unnecessary negativities. For sanctuary lies not in denying all encounters, but in serenading a harmonious dance between self-preservation and societal obligations. Girded with resolve, we sculpt our haven with intention, letting the melody of boundaries conduct a symphony of resilience against the tempests that seek to dismantle our inner sanctum. In today's fast-paced world, establishing emotional distance sometimes becomes absolutely necessary. This doesn't suggest avoiding emotional involvement altogether, but instead underscores the value of thoughtful detachment. Let's absorb this concept through the timeless teachings of Epictetus, a notable Stoic philosopher. According to him, happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one another. This powerful quote encapsulates the essence of maintaining mental detachment while still fostering a sense of understanding and empathy. Now imagine a scenario where you find yourself constantly dragged into the storm of someone else's negativity. It's crucial to exercise mental detachment. Observe their conduct from an unbiased perspective without letting your emotions get entangled. Picture a colleague who habitually complains rather than absorbing their discontent and letting it permeate your mood, shift your perspective. Think to yourself, they seem to be having a tough day rather than letting their negativity weigh you down. This brings us to the concept of cognitive reframing. This technique, heavily inspired by stoic principles, can be immensely valuable. Naysayers and toxic individuals often seek to manipulate our emotions through constant negativity but what if we could transform their pessimism into mere observations? For instance, if someone persistently criticizes instead of internalizing their negativity, you might reframe it. They express dissatisfaction perhaps because they are struggling with their own internal battles. In a world teeming with negativity, focusing on the positive becomes an act of resistance. 
Toxic people thrive on dragging others down, but you can protect your emotional sanctuary by concentrating on what uplifts you. Delve into your passions, cherish the meaningful work you do, celebrate the companionship of supportive friends. Let these positive elements be your shield, a sanctuary safeguarding your happiness from those who seek to diminish it. Imagine your emotional well-being as a majestic fortress guarded by a vast moat. This moat represents not just a physical barrier, but an emotional fortress that keeps the negativity at bay. Limiting your exposure to toxic environments and people is not an act of cowardice. It is a courageous step towards preserving your inner peace and practicing self-care, essential elements of a fulfilling life. On this journey, remember the Stoics' conviction in leading a moral and rational life. By reducing interactions with negative influences, you create space to nurture a flourishing inner world. This deliberate distancing allows you to cultivate a life brimming with positivity and personal growth. In conclusion, emotional resilience isn't about disengaging from the world, but rather about engaging with it thoughtfully and in ways that protect your peace. Like a well-guarded fortress surrounded by a moat, let your emotional resilience stand strong against the onslaughts of negativity. By embracing the teachings of Epictetus and other Stoics, exercising cognitive reframing and focusing on what enriches your life, you pave the way towards a happier, freer existence. 8. Cultivate a strong support system. In a world filled with challenges and negativity, envision yourself as a guardian at the gates of your inner fortress. Imagine your walls fortified with boundaries, your ability to remain calm in the face of chaos perfected, and the toxic influences around you minimized. But even the most valiant warrior needs a formidable army to fully defend their position. Enter your support system, your stalwart band of allies ready to stand by you through thick and thin. In the grand scheme of things, the Stoic philosophy, championed by wise minds like Seneca, beckons us to lead lives in harmony with nature. At its core lies the concept of surrounding oneself with virtuous individuals who uplift, inspire, and share fundamental beliefs. These trusted allies form the backbone of your defense against negativity and strife, providing solace, guidance, and unwavering encouragement in times of need. Think of your support system as a shield against the toxicity of harmful individuals. When faced with emotional exhaustion from enduring their effects, having a safe space to confide in trustworthy friends or family members becomes paramount. Their empathy and understanding rejuvenate your spirit, reminding you that you're not alone in your battles. In essence, they counterbalance the erosion of self-worth inflicted by toxic influences, offering a beacon of hope and validation in turbulent times. Moreover, your support system acts as a mirror reflecting your intrinsic worth and potential back to you. Their unwavering faith in your abilities stirs a rekindled sense of purpose and resilience within you, fortifying your resolve to overcome adversities. By surrounding yourself with virtuous individuals who embody the virtues you seek to cultivate, you create a positive feedback loop of inspiration and empowerment. So, nurture your band of allies, for they are not merely companions, but beacons of light guiding you through life's darkest moments. Embrace their counsel, draw strength from their unwavering support, and together, weather the storms of negativity with grace and resilience. Remember, in the tapestry of life, 
Your support system is the thread that weaves strength, solace and courage into the fabric of your being. In the journey of personal growth and resilience, witnessing the strength, fortitude and positivity of others can be a powerful teacher. By observing their ability to navigate challenges, we can enhance our own capacity to handle adversity with grace. Building a reliable support network is a lifelong process that requires nurturing existing relationships and seeking out like-minded individuals who share our values and beliefs. To cultivate this network of support, one can engage in meaningful interactions that foster connections and understanding. Investing quality time with those who uplift and encourage us can create a deep sense of belonging and camaraderie. Joining clubs, volunteer organizations, or online communities aligned with our interests can bring together kindred spirits who serve as a natural source of encouragement and solidarity. Expressing gratitude to our support system is crucial acknowledging the profound impact they have on our well-being and acknowledging their unwavering presence in our lives. By fostering a resilient and stoic disposition, we can build a strong shield against negativity and toxic influences, allowing us to nurture a perspective of strength and optimism. Remember, even the strongest fortress can benefit from a robust defense our support network evolves into an unyielding bulwark, safeguarding our inner peace and providing a secure haven amidst life's challenges. Cultivating such a sanctuary of positivity and support ensures that we can weather storms with grace and emerge stronger on the other side. 9. Emphasize self-care. In a world filled with tumultuous energies and toxic influences, Prioritizing self-care is akin to fortifying oneself against a relentless onslaught. Just as a warrior tends to wounds and sharpens blades after a battle, so should we nurture our mental and emotional well-being as a fundamental aspect of our daily existence. Delve into the art of self-care, not merely as a chore, but as an investment in resilience and tranquility. Imagine yourself as a stoic warrior of the modern age, valiantly protecting your inner sanctum from the corrosive forces of negativity. By incorporating self-care rituals into your routine, you equip yourself with a shield of emotional fortitude and a sword of mental clarity. Treat self-care not as an afterthought, but as a crucial task, scheduling it alongside your essential duties to replenish your emotional reserves and fortify your defenses against toxicity. Discover joy in activities that invigorate your spirit and soothe your soul. Whether it's the physical exertion of running or the meditative flow of yoga, find solace in pursuits that bring you genuine pleasure. Engage in artistic endeavors like painting or writing to unlock your creative potential and rejuvenate your emotional energies. By immersing yourself in activities that spark joy, you rekindle your inner flame and emerge with a renewed sense of purpose. Embrace the ancient practice of meditation as a sacred ritual of self-care, just as the Stoics engaged in mindfulness practices to cultivate inner peace so can you harness the power of meditation to still your mind and ward off negative thoughts. Make meditation a cornerstone of your self-care regimen, a sanctuary of tranquility where you can find respite from the storm of negativity swirling around you. Through meditation, you build resilience against the toxic onslaught, emerging stronger and more centered after each session. Seek solace in the embrace of nature, for it holds the key to restoring balance and harmony within your being. The Stoics revered the natural world as a source of wisdom and serenity, 
finding solace in its quiet beauty and restorative powers. Take a leisurely stroll in a nearby park or venture into the depths of a forest to reconnect with the Earth's healing energy. Let the sights, sounds and scents of nature envelop you in a cocoon of tranquility, washing away the stresses of daily life and imbuing you with a sense of peace that transcends words. View self-care as a sacred act of self-preservation, a testament to your commitment to nurturing your well-being. A well-rested and centered individual is better equipped to navigate the turbulent waters of life, resilient in the face of adversity and steadfast in their pursuit of inner peace. Embrace the transformative power of self-care and watch as it illuminates your path with a radiant light of serenity and strength. In the grand tapestry of life, weaving the threads of emotional resilience requires a vigilant spirit akin to a stoic warrior honing their armor and sharpening their sword. As you traverse the diverse landscapes of your emotions, it is vital to treat self-care as a sacred ritual, a dance of harmony between your mind, body and soul. Just as a warrior listens to the whispers of the wind for signs of impending danger, you must attune yourself to the subtle cues that your body sends you, a continuous dialogue that unfolds between the vessel of your existence and your conscious mind. Watch for the telltale signs of weariness, tension or emotional fatigue and embrace them as gentle calls to prioritize self-care. Nurturing your emotional resilience begins with simple yet profound acts, a nourishing diet, restorative sleep, and mindful breaks throughout the day. These habitual rhythms of self-care lay the foundation for an unyielding emotional fortress, shielding you from the storms of anguish and strife that may come your way. Just as a warrior sets boundaries with foes on the battlefield, it is equally crucial to establish boundaries around your sacred time of self-care. Embrace the power of saying no to demands that encroach upon your moments of tranquility and carve out dedicated periods in your day for activities that replenish your spirit. Remember, prioritizing your well-being is not an act of selfishness but a sacred duty to safeguard your emotional strength and vitality. By infusing the essence of self-care into the tapestry of your stoic existence, you embark on a journey towards becoming a more empowered and harmonious being. Much like a stoic warrior facing adversities with unwavering resolve, you too can confront life's hurdles with a renewed perspective and emotional fortitude. As you shield yourself against the corrosive forces of negativity, Remember that a full emotional battery empowers you to deflect toxicity and exude positivity. Fashion a formidable shield around yourself, guarding against the influences of toxic individuals who seek to dim your inner light and bask in the radiance of your strengthened emotional core. Embrace the stoic essence within you, for in that embrace, lies the path to true resilience and enduring tranquility. Ten. Always keep in mind, it's not all about you. In a world where negativity surrounds us like a dark cloud, toxic people sometimes project their fears and insecurities onto those around them, creating a poisonous environment. It's easy to get caught up in the storm of insults and negativity, but there is a powerful concept called Pru Papia, rooted in Stoic philosophy, that offers a shield against this toxicity. Imagine yourself as an intelligent observer, standing outside the emotional tornado detached from the chaos. Stoic philosophers use the term Pru Papia to remind us to analyze situations impartially, focusing on the rational aspects 
rather than getting swept away by the negativity. When faced with toxic individuals, it's crucial to maintain this sense of detachment. Remember, their insults and criticisms are not about you. They are a reflection of their inner struggles. To navigate the treacherous waters of toxic relationships, stoic detachment can be your guiding light. Toxic people often lash out, blame others, and spread negativity as a way to deflect from their own inadequacies. By recognizing this behavior as projection and applying the pru papia technique, you can distance yourself emotionally and observe their actions dispassionately. Think of yourself as a scientist studying a curious phenomenon. Their negativity is not a judgment of you, but a mirror of their own inner turmoil. By adopting this mindset, you can rise above the toxicity and maintain your peace of mind. Remember, it's not about you, it's about their own struggles. Embrace the power of stoic detachment to shield yourself from the storms of toxicity and emerge stronger, wiser and more. In a world where we often find ourselves entangled in the emotions and actions of others, it is crucial to remember that their behavior does not define us. Rather, it reflects their internal struggles and the challenges they face. Consider the analogy of the dark cloud. Although it casts a shadow, it does not change the essence of the ground it momentarily shrouds. The sun continues to shine brightly above, unaffected by the passing darkness. Echoing the wisdom of the Stoic philosopher Epicurus, we are reminded that the measure of life is not its brevity, but how we utilize the time entrusted to us. Embracing a Stoic perspective enables us to recognize the abundance of existence and the significance of living purposefully. To navigate through life's complexities, it is essential to shield ourselves from the negativity of toxic individuals, preserving our emotional well-being and staying true to our stoic journey. Detachment does not equate to indifference. Rather, it is a conscious choice to safeguard our inner harmony while extending empathy to others. By practicing stoic detachment, we transform from mere recipients of external influences into empowered observers of our experiences. Maintaining this mindfulness allows us to weather emotional storms without losing our sense of peace and resilience. As we traverse the ups and downs of existence, let us remember that the sun continues to shine brilliantly beyond the transient clouds of adversity. By nurturing our virtues, cultivating inner serenity, and staying rooted in the stoic principles, we pave the way for a life suffused with purpose and tranquility amid life's uncertainties.